Hi, I'm Nancy Bates. I'm a Barkindji woman from far western New South Wales, living on Ghana country here in Adelaide. I like to pay my respects to the traditional owners of the land that I'm about to sing on, the Ghana people. I'd like to pay my respect to their ancestors. I would like to pay respects to elders past, present and emerging. And we must acknowledge that culture is continuing today, tomorrow and forever. I'd like to start with a song that I wrote uh, with a group of Aboriginal women in it. Adelaide Women's Prison a couple of years ago. It was NAIDOT Week 2018 and the theme for that year was Because of Her We Can. So we, we wanted to write some songs that made us feel stronger as women. And uh, anyhow, we had a, a big talk that day in a circle, a talking circle. And what came out of that was some pretty brutal conversations about violence against women and, and the violence that they had encountered themselves, which largely, largely leads women to prison these days. Over 87% of women incarcerated today are either in there because they've responded to domestic violence in some way. So at the end of that, sharing these stories of domestic violence, including my own story, I said to the women, well, we know what love isn't, so let's write a song about what love is. Love is strong Strong enough to get along Strong enough to stay Strong enough to walk away Love is kind incredible moment um, after writing that song and and we sang it through a couple of times and it was time for uh, the prison guards to, guards to come and get the women and uh, everyone had tears of happiness in their eyes we couldn't believe what had just happened in the room um, someone said I didn't think we we're going to write a song today but uh, we wrote a bloody song that day what a great song so I 
get a bit emotional after singing that because it's so beautiful. And I'd like to uh, I'd like to acknowledge that uh, we need to we need to do something about the incarceration rates of women. It's the fastest we are the fastest growing prison community in Australia. Yeah, so it's important for us to talk about that. The next song, I guess, is a bit different, quite a bit different. Um, when uh, COVID happened and everything shut down, uh, it was really difficult for us, especially us that are out, you know, used to getting out and about and performing and having audiences. Uh, we started doing stuff like this, like filming live stuff and trying to get that out there or getting our music out from our bedrooms and our computers and mobile phones and, and that was great. But when, uh, when the first restrictions lifted, I had a great gig. Uh, Tom West had his album launch and I opened up for him that night. And uh, there was someone in the audience that I um, afterwards had a bit of a fling with. And uh, when you have a bit of a fling after being in lockdown, COVID lockdown for so long, I guess you kind of all these big emotions come uh, bursting through. It hasn't lasted, but the song has endured. And that's the beauty of music. Relationships come and go but the guitar and the song can always be there for you. So, uh, also share quite a bit about my, um, I guess, there's a lot of shame uh, for young women around, still around sexuality and, uh, and that's difficult. So it's, uh, at the age of 44, it's been great to write a song that's helped me to let go of some of the shame that I carried as a young woman um, around my first sexual experiences. Maybe I've been holding back Let myself go cold It's easier to live like that Take another road Some say love is I don't see it that way First lover I ever knew Came gently to my bed But the curiosity Grew inside my head I did not intend to go It was my mistake So if you want to sway my way You better take it easy The next lover was wild and by the world So he laid his hands on me Though I given him the girl My body was confused by all his pain Fists falling like rain So if you want to sway Gotta take it easy. What would I do with a group or
actually don't even have a name for that song yet so uh just been um mulling over it i've been playing it quite a bit and actually i've got a uh alia she's a she's a, a young person that comes along to a lot of gigs and it's her favorite song of mine so far so uh she'll be able to get hours of pleasure out of re-watching that song um Another thing that happened, I guess, uh, last year was for me was uh, big conversations about mental health and I took on the role of Mental Health uh, Week Ambassador 2020 working with Anna Jevons and the Mental Health Coalition. I'd had a, a diagnosis of bipolar the year before and as a, a woman in her 40s, early 40s, that like, like, late diagnosis was really difficult um, on so many levels and uh, the diagnosis was bipolar and uh, I've been coming to terms with that and I guess part of how we come to terms with things in our lives as songwriters is to write a song about it and then maybe maybe that song can help give voice to somebody else or help shine a light on what is a very dark area in our community and something we don't often talk about and uh, you know people see me doing all these things and uh, people don't see the struggle behind that. Um, for a lot of creative people, this is how we live. We are uh, neurodivergent, you know, we're a little bit different and, and pretty sensitive to the world and we need to be. That's where our creativity comes from. But it can make the world really, really difficult sometimes. So without a better title, we started kind of calling this Bipolar Bear. We, I'm talking about uh, gigging with uh, Ryan, Martin John and Annie Siegman, Kiri Anderson. We've been doing a few shows together. So um, we called this song Bipolar Bear. Um, and I don't think it should change. And that's, uh, I guess, about my experience, what it feels like when I'm unwell, but also the fact that I think that the world largely is responsible for how I feel. Um, that we talk about individual mental health, but I think we need to be talking about the, the health of the planet and a lot of us are just not feeling okay because the planet's not okay. I just can't escape I just can't escape 
escape my pain So our planet can live again someday We're just a runaway We're just a runaway train Another cheery tune for you from uh, Nancy Bates. Um, like to keep it real. Um, that's just what kind of came pouring out in response to the world, I suppose, and trying to better understand myself and and the world needs to be a better place. That's what I, I think. It needs to be a better place for, for all people. And once the world's a better place, I think we'll all be doing a lot better with our mental health. In fact, we might have mental health as a society. I'd, I'd really like to thank you, Sunnyside, for having me and also your collaboration with Girls Rock. Girls actually do rock and, uh, and it's been wonderful to be part of those initiatives as well. And I look forward to seeing you younger people being part of uh, sessions like this and some more live performances will be wonderful. Thank you so much for your love and support. <laughs>